So she's going to go against the wall facing the, this way, and she's going to go ahead and kick her leg out to the side, holding onto the wall. She's going to kick out one at a time. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, now this is up to you, Sherry. Stay tall. You see how she's, her posture's kind of going when she's kicking, and that's okay. She's going to try more to keep her posture straight. If you want to look at me, you want to keep tall and kick out, not quite as far. There you go. Keep your abs tight. Halfway, she's going to switch sides. Go ahead and switch sides. This leg is hiding. So her leg is bothering her a bit because she did have surgery on that leg. So she's not going to kick out as far. She's going to take her time and do less reps on this time, right? right? Yes. So you always have to modify where you're at. Now she's going to face the wall and she's going to do a push up against the wall. Face the wall and do a push up against the wall. Yep, that's pretty good. She's going to tuck her elbows in to the side more and push her elbows straight back by her sides. She's going to drop her hands. Go ahead, mom, lean into it and then press back. Is that okay? Do you feel that in the muscles? Shake your head up and down or say yes. Okay, you need to back up a little bit more with your legs and put more, put your hands down more, put more weight into it. How's that? Yeah. Yep. So you have to adjust to find the right intensity for you. And you want to bring your hips with you. Bring your hips with you. Am I doing that? Yeah, no, not yet. You want to go onto the toes more and bring your whole body weight. Pretend like you're weightless. There you go. Now what she's going to do is face this way again, face this way again, and she's going to make a hip circle, a hip circle. Forward. Can I hold on to this? Yep, you should hold on to the wall. Always hold on to something, especially if you're a beginner or if you are, let's just say if you're over the age of 50 and you're balanced, you should always hold on to a wall just to be safe. She can touch the ground to take a quick break when she does this. She can touch the ground to take a quick break and then do another rep. Especially on the other side as she's going to be feeling, uh, she's going to feel it in that leg. Halfway she can switch. Other direction, other direction. Yep, take your time, rest. Take your time, rest. Yeah. Okay, now what she's going to do is she's going to march in place without the wall because her balance is good. She's going to face me. She's going to put her hands out straight. I love to strengthen the arms while you do lower body stuff. She's going to slow that down a lot. I want her to focus on not tipping and tilting. She wants to flex her core tight and work on slowing it down and work on balance. You don't want to try and move. You want to be in line with me right now. Good. So a lot of people think that moving faster is always the, always the answer. That's not necessarily true. She probably feels it more in the core. She's more cognizant of balance right now because she has to slow down and work on balance. Is that correct? Yep, core should be tighter, not swaying back and forth as much as you can help it. There you go. Good. She's probably getting pretty tired. We're going to work on something called straight legged deadlifts. I love this exercises. It teaches you to move at the hips and teaches you how to do what? Everybody that's watching. It teaches you how to do squats in the future. Yep, she's going to put her hands just for the feeling of where the crease is in the hips, and she's going to push straight back with her chest out. That's perfect. She wants a slight bend in her knee, though. She's locking out her knee. You don't want a lot. You want to think about soft knees. She wants to feel a stretch in the back of the legs. She wants to come through somewhat quick and then squeeze the glutes tight at the top. Does that make sense, Sherry? Squeeze the glutes tight at the top. There you go. Yep. Back. Squeeze the glutes tight at the top. Good job. So the thing is, is the great thing about this is you're not having a professional fitness professional do this so that you can see how the correction goes when working with a fitness professional and that makes it more valuable to you so you can watch and see the issues that sometimes happen 
Okay, what she's going to do now is she's going to put her arms to the side, to the side, and she's going to try and lift and balance for a second or two. Again, if you don't have good balance, don't do this. She's going to lift, one, two, back down. She's going to lift, one, two, back down. Can you do that each time? Are you okay? Take your time. Good job. Take your time. Good. And again, have something available to touch. She should actually, what we're going to do, why don't you turn towards the wall like this and do the same exercise. Arms are still out, but if you were to tip, you can use the wall. One, two, back down, right? Don't use the wall, though, if you don't have to, Sherry. She's going to face the wall for one more, and she's going to kick her leg straight behind her without moving her upper body. Alternating. Step forward a little bit. Step forward a little bit. Straight back. Okay, do you guys see how she's kind of leaning forward? She's using, what is she using? She's using leverage. What you want to try and work on is activating the glutes, and you activate the glutes a lot more by not using leverage. So as you can see, she's straightening it up, up, up a bit, but you can see how she needs to work on some exercises that I'll be showing you in the next videos. She's doing better, but you, as you can see, guys, she's still leaning forward. It's because what happens is as we age, our glutes don't want to activate. Other muscles take over. So we're going to show you in the next videos how to work on those glutes.